back, guys. We're back for another Dokkan Battle video. And we are coming up upon that time of the month slash year slash whatever. We have a summonable LR coming up very soon over here. Honestly, not only on JP Dokkan, but also on Global Dokkan. Now, there's, I've seen a couple of sort of theories pushed out by some people, um, you know, some, you know, hype characters that people think could potentially be the LR. Now, keep in mind that this will be a legendary summon LR, right? Not a Dokkan Fest LR. So, that is, I think, going to be a very important distinction when it comes to a character like Gogeta. Um, I'll get into that point in a little bit. Now, right now, Dokkan is pushing a movie theme, and it's just like, it's 100% like, like yes, they Dokkan is pushing movies down our throat right now, right? Like, there's just no discussion about that. Like, that is actually what's going on. Because you look at the recent Dokkan Fest we just got was Videl, right? Videl was the most recent Dokkan Fest. And with Videl, they went ahead and dropped the AGL Tapion EZA. Now, AGL Tapion, honestly, he's fire. Um, upon using him in a bunch of events, I was completely blown away. I think Tapion is a great, beautiful, wonderful EZA, which will really help the movie hero category and movie boss category when it comes to difficult content. So Tapion was a great EZA. But even despite the fact that they dropped this Videl Dokkan Fest celebration, they found a way to buff movie hero and movie bosses at the same time with that Tapion EZA. So now this brings us to this right here, which is what is the part two LR going to be? Quite honestly, I think what we would expect is that it's coming from one of these right here. I think one of these movies, very likely to see a part two LR, right? Now, there were a bunch of assets that came out <clears throat> that potentially, you know, maybe could have had something to do with a part two LR. Now, we could take a look at this freezer right here. Um, there actually is some art in this freezer. This is from the story event, um, the Parade of the Dead or whatever. Um, this, you know, was that free to play unit, the Great Saiyan Man and Videl, right? Now, if you go ahead and take a look at this, um, you will see that they actually do have one of Garlic Jr.'s minions there at the top, in the top middle, right? That is the first, um, representation at all <clears throat> from either of the Garlic Jr., the movie or the saga, right? Right here is Garlic Jr.'s minion. This is the guy from the Lord Slug movie. There's obviously the Ginyu Force. We have Kui. This looks like art to me. Like, this Kui right here could be card art. So maybe we'll do Planet Namek Saga at some stuff at, at some point. Um, I do think releasing sort of like a Frieza right here. I don't know what they would call this guy. Like, would he be on the Otherworld Warrior category? Because, like, what they're kind of, like, brought back to life in uh, the Janemba movie, right? I don't know. It, it, like, it's 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 weird. Like, they use that same plot both in GT and in the Janemba movie right there. But I don't think this will have anything to do with a Part 2 LR. A lot of people were really interested about this asset right here, which does look good. Like, honestly, this looks like this could be SSR card art to me. It does. It does, for sure. Um, but this ended up being a super attack animation along with the Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man, right? Is what this was. That's all this ended up being is just, like, you know, a, 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 an animation, like, part of his super attack animation. Um, I think <clears throat> Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man would be, like, an outstanding, like, summonable LR. Because he's on so many categories. He could be on Kamehameha. The Super Saiyan 2 team, Sibling Bond, World Tournament, right? So many teams that really could use the help. I think this guy would be an ideal summonable LR, actually. And I think he hits all the check marks, right? It's Gohan, so he's going to be very popular. People are going to summon for him. He's a Saiyan. People love summoning for their Super Saiyans and stuff like that, right? <clears throat> but because this is just um, an asset in a Super Attack animation... I don't know that this is actually going to be card art that we are going to see, but it definitely could be. I mean, again, to me, this looks like a, an SSR for an LR that you would pull, right? So we do want to keep that in mind. Um, also, by the way, so Videl was the main Dokkan Fest, right? Last year, we had Kaioken Blue Goku was the main Dokkan Fest, but then the summonable LR... By the way, here, let me pull uh, Blue Kaioken Goku up. And then the summonable LR down here was LR, Vegeta, and Nappa, right? So if we look at Blue Kaioken Goku, he came out on April 1st. That is the exact day that Videl came out. Videl came out on April 1st. Um, and then the LR right here came out on April 16th. So I, honestly, 
right now, I would expect April 16th to be the release date for this LR, Friday. So what that means is uh, we could see the night of the 13th, I think, is when we could see the Super Attack animations and stuff like that tweeted out. Um, that probably is where, where the LR will be revealed, is the Super Attack animations will just be tweeted out. And then from that point on, we will find out what the summonable LR is actually going to be, right? So again, last year, uh, LR, Vegeta, and Nappa had absolutely zero correlation, uh, along with Blue Kyle and Goku. I mean, if they drop, like, I don't know, um, LR Android 13 as the summonable LR right now, that would have nothing to do with Videl, but it sort of does match up with the theme they're pushing, which is movies. Now, Vegeta and Nappa had nothing to do with the theme. They were they were pushing two themes last year, Boo Saga and then Tournament of Power. Um, Vegeta and Nappa had nothing to do with that, but it is important to note that uh, LR Krillin's Prime Battle had just come out, right? So this was two buffs to the Saiyan Saga category, but they still haven't actually even done anything with the Saiyan Saga, right? I think we are going to eventually get in there, but not quite yet. Um, so, I mean, we can start talking about some possibilities. I think an LR Tapion would make sense. I've seen a lot of talk of a dual Dokkan Festival, potentially with, like, Tapion slash Rudigarn, and then also maybe with, like, a Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I do think there's some merit to that. I, I think that would actually be a good Dokkan, a dual Dokkan Fest for Golden Week on JP Dokkan. Because, again, if you're dropping another Harutagarn Tapion unit, you're buffing both Movie Bosses and Movie Hero, which is going to be really good. With the same name update, we could use both of these. And, obviously, this Tapion right here is definitely good enough to run. And then, when it comes to Super Saiyan 3 Goku, right? The thing about Super Saiyan 3 Goku... He has the oldest Dokkan event in the game that has not gotten a new stage at this moment. So this guy deserves like a new Dokkan event stage, even more so than like Full Power Frieza or Golden Frieza, a lot of these other like bosses, because they just have never updated Super Saiyan 3 Gokus. I think a Dragon Fist with the new animations would be outstanding. Um, but again, in terms of him being a part 2 LR, we already have uh, a summonable LR of Dragon Fist Goku, right? So again, that, that's why, like, I don't think Tapion as a, a, like, like a summonable LR makes a lot of sense to me. But I think more so, you know, him as a Dokkan Fest, so we'd get a new stage added to the Rudigarn Dokkan event. Plus, we'd actually have an actual Dokkan Festival exclusive right there. Plus, then they could give us a new stage for Dragon Fist Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which his Dokkan event badly needs one. And they can give us um, the Dragon Fist and the good animations. I do think Tapion and Super Saiyan 3 Goku as a dual Dokkan Fest makes a ton of sense. So, I would sort of X both of these guys out um, as potential... Um, LRs. I, I don't think Tapion or Super Saiyan 3 Goku is something we would see. Um, the other thing is a lot do people are really talking about Gogeta right now. I don't I don't really know why, because it seems fairly obvious to me that like these fusion characters are not gonna be like legendary summon LRs, right? Like these are the Dokkan Festival exclusive LRs. These these are the ones they save for the major celebrations. And we have, so we have the three anniversary LRs, the Int Vegito, and then we also have the physical Gogeta. They did a remake for uh, this three anniversary Vegito, the STR Vegito, which is still one of the better units in the game, right? Now, I would like to point out that this STR Vegito unit, we have not gotten the counterpart to Gogeta. I do not think they are going to drop a summonable LR for Super Gogeta right now, and then they haven't done the remake for this guy. And the thing is, this is not going to be a legendary summon unit either, the remake for this unit, because they're going to get a new stage added to their Dokkan event. Um, I don't... They could easily drop a Dokkan Fest LR, I guess for, like, Goku Day, like, maybe, like, a Global First or something like that. But more so what I've been leaning towards is that, remember, these guys came out... This was Worldwide Download Celebration last year, right? I'm kind of wondering, like, are we going to get this as the Worldwide Download Celebration this year? Like, this is what they're building up to? I was thinking Blue, Gogeta, and Dragon Ball Super Broly, but maybe that's not what they're building up to, and it's actually just the remake of Gogeta, and then LR Janemba, right? The other thing, too, is that Tech Janemba's super... His animations, I would say, are very tame, 
right? Tech Janemba, like, his animations weren't exactly, like, super, like, oh, my God! Like, I don't think I've heard anyone say, like, oh, Tech Janemba are my favorite animations, right? They're very... T- it's like um, in Broly. In Broly's animations, I felt were very tame. Like they're they're they've got some crazy shit they've cooked up, but it's gonna be for an LR coming at some point in the future. Same thing, like Janemba and Legendary Super Saiyan Broly from that first Broly movie. I I feel that way about both of those characters, right? Um, honestly, man, a, a, a Broly right now would make sense to me, right? Like if they drop like a base Broly as a, a Legendary Summon LR, I would totally. Did it not pull it up? Hello. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I love... Dude, the Japanese titles for these movies. <laughs> Burn Up. Hot Fight. Fierce Fight. Super Violent Fight. And then the, <laughs> the English titles just Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan. Like, come on, dude. What is this? But I think, like, a base Broly from this movie that potentially, like, transforms all the way to... Uh, LR Broly, I think that would make a lot of sense right here, honestly. Like, like just, again, like a base form Broly. And again, he does so many attacks in this movie. Honestly, this is another really big possibility. This Goku right here definitely could get a summonable LR. I think he would be another good pick, right? And again, I, I think... What we can expect right now from a summonable LR is something from the movies. I don't think movie one, two, or three we would see because we just got the LR Turles, right? They could maybe do like an LR Spirit Bomb Goku. I, Because Goku does finish off movie two, three, and four with the Spirit Bomb, right? So like maybe like some sort of like combo Spirit Bomb Goku LR from all three of those. Although I think like a base form Spirit Bomb Goku would make for a good Dokkan event. So I think we can kind of X out the first three movies. No way, right? I don't think we're going to see a symbol LR from them. Movie four, we could. Um, I do think the next time we're going to get movie four stuff, I think Lord Slug as a Dokkan Fest does make sense. Um, obviously, all the movie bosses should get Dokkan uh, Fest. Uh, honestly, wow, you look at it like Final Form Cooler from movie five, Super Saiyan Goku from movie five could happen. Some sort of, I think movie six, we get a lot more stuff coming from there, right? They give us like another metal cooler Dokkan fest or something like that. Maybe EZAs for like the Tech Super Saiyan Vegeta, the SCR Piccolo. Like we could definitely get a bunch of stuff uh, coming from uh, that you know metal cooler movie. I think honestly, Fusion Android Thirteen. I think all because the main focus of this movie, the Super Android Thirteen movie, was like I believe the Japanese title for this one right is the the three Super Saiyans. Right. Let me just quickly double check. Yeah, Extreme Battle, the three great Super Saiyans. So I feel like some sort of LR with all, like, Trunks, Vegeta, and Goku, like, three Super Saiyan, like, LR, that could make sense to me. Um, again, Broly could get a lot of stuff. I, I do think we're eventually going to get, like, a base Gohan from Movie 9 that potentially could transform. We could see that. Uh, we do have so much from the second Broly movie. Like, we have two LR Brolys from this movie. We have Gohan and Goten. Like, I don't think we would see something from here. Bio Broly, we just got a bunch of stuff from... We did get a bunch of stuff from Fusion Reborn. And again, I'm sort of leaning towards... Uh, whatchamacallit? Um, like, Gogeta as being the Worldwide Download Celebration unit, his remake. The, again, they're definitely not dropping a summonable LR Gogeta before they drop the, the remake for that Dokkan event, right? Wrath of Dragon, we could get so... Basically, Wrath of Dragon, think of it as having nothing right now. Because there's nothing from Wrath of Dragon with the good animations. None of the Tapions. LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is not good animations. None of it are good animations. So basically, this movie is completely barren. It's a wasteland. Anything from here could be brought out, right? Remember, Gotenks is in there. Like, the good thing about this movie, there's a lot of characters that they could add. Like, they could do a massive celebration around this movie, honestly. Um, Like, uh, this is why I think Golden Week, based around this movie, would be sick. Because remember, like, Vegeta goes Super Saiyan 2 in here, right? Now, currently, there is no Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta on Movie Heroes. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is there. You know, the the uh, the card art of physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is from the Harutagarn movie. That would be sick, right? Like, there's so many different characters and stuff that would massively buff the Movie Hero category if they would do a big celebration based around Wrath of Dragon. So I, I do think potentially we could see something from there. And then movie 14, Battle of Gods. 
Um, we could definitely get, like, I think, like, a transforming uh, God Goku. But, like, we, Spiris, like, are sort of, I think, taken care of. And then Resurrection F, I mean, there is just infinite content from that. I, you know, for the fourth year in a row, I'd love to see, uh, I think, Resurrection F as Golden Week, but we'll see. But, like, LR Gold, like, Golden Frieza, I think, actually is a Dokkan Fest exclusive LR-worthy character. Because he, if you take a look at the Dokkan events, right? So, here's, these are the Dokkan events on Global, basically in order of how old they are without being updated, right? Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Full Power Frieza. I don't know what they're going to do with Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Are they going to give him another Dokkan Fest? They could, I guess. But, like, he's, like, a what-if character, right? Um, Golden Frieza, again, right there, has got to be updated. Then, like, Omega, you know, Super 17, Kid Buu. Like, these are all characters we would think would get updated. And then, look, like, Int Gogeta and Super Vegito. Like, people pretend, like, we get a new version of these characters every day. But it's been years since we've gotten, like, Gogeta and Vegito, right? Like, before the Worldwide Download Celebration, like, there were no Super Vegitos or Super Gogetas with the good animations. So, like, there's multiple Super Gogetas and Super Vegitos coming. Because guess what? They're the big money makers. They're what drives the hype. So they will be coming. But, you know, I I do think we're probably going to see a Dokkan Fest Super Saiyan 3 Goku very soon. Because I did a video right after the 6th year anniversary talking about Dokkan events that had to be updated. And what's funny is Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, he would have been uh, right here. He, he was in between Golden Frieza and Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. So Broly was fourth on this. So again, I think Super Saiyan 3 Goku, considering how much he fits the theme right now, we're going to see him get a Dokkan Fest, or a Dokkan Fest very soon. Um, as far as an LR, if I had to pick, I think I actually like the idea of Goku from Movie 8. So, like, we already have a Legends unit for this uh, right here. Um, if we go over here, there is this blue sparking Goku right here. Here, let's go sparking, and let's go uh, blue. And then we got to scroll down a bit. This guy right here. Uh, this guy, I think, could be the summonable LR right now on Dokkan. I think that would make a lot of sense. This guy definitely deserves an LR. And, like, now with the same name update, they could just spam Super Saiyan Goku's at us, and, like, it's not really a big deal, right? So let me know what you guys think. Again, I think the summonable LR from one of these probably 15 movies right here would make sense. I mean, there is also the Dragon Ball Super Broly, but, I mean, that's another major celebration. I don't think they're going to take too much out of that besides major celebrations. Then the Dragon Ball movies, there is stuff they could do, but I don't know that any of these are going to be, like, a summonable LR right now. But honestly, like, I don't know. Like, this Goku right here from Path to Power would be an exquisite um, summonable LR. Like, like the, the Kamehameha that Goku does at the very end of the movie would be absolutely fantastic as a summonable LR. I think it would be very, very popular on um, both Global and JP. I think it would make a lot of sense. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll see what eventually would happen. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Again, I think very highly likely from one of these movies, this is best to sort of look at right now because they're obviously building up movie hero and movie bosses right now. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.